So now that we have our URLs working just fine, we can begin to deal with uh, a view. So the controllers are working. We just need the views and then we'll go to the models. So to create a view, all we need to do, because we don't want to have view information in the controller. So the controller should only have logic calculations and the like. Uh, actually, it should just be controlling and loading in models and views. And then the viewing should be done in the view, the calculations in the model. That way we are well organized. So here, what I need to do is create a, the same way we have a folder controllers core in the private here, I want to create one for views. So right click, new, not new file, sorry about that, new folder. So right click, new folder. This new folder is going to be views. While we're at it, we can create another one called models. So new folder, and this one is models. Save. Okay. So let's hide that controller and core for now, and let's deal with views. So in here, I'll create a new file. So new file. Now you can create folders in here. That's entirely up to you. Or you can just put uh, the files in here in the open. So save here. I will say this one will be the home view. So I'll just call it home.php. Now it's up to you. You can say home.view.php. That way, at least it's easy to identify what this file is. So you can do that. Now, uh, it's, good, it's a good idea to, to uh, standardize this so that if you say home.view.php, at least you know every file has .view at the end. That way you can account for it in the uh, controller when loading it. So that way you don't have to type the .view uh, if you don't need to, right? So I'll just save that, home.view.php. At least from here we can tell it's a view file. So here I'm just going to add some HTML because this is where the HTML will live. So I'll save this and just say home like that. And I'll just put some h1 tag and say this is a home. Okay, good. Now we have a home page. But how do we load this home page? So this is done in the controller. Now this is the main controller inside core and controller. This one right here. So this will contain all the functions that are common to all controllers because they are all extending this controller. So here I'm just going to say function view, like so. Okay, so what this will do is we're going to give it a param, which is the view name or the file name there. And then here we just check if the file exists. So just to say if file exists, uh, sorry about that, view. Now, the view is just a file name. In our case, we're just going to write home and not the view part. So what I will do is concatenate that. I'll just say dot, dot view, dot PHP, like that. So that I don't need to type, because every one of these files will have dot view, so... We don't need to type it. And then the second thing is we need to also move a folder up. Keep in mind that this is in relation. This is relative to the index page in the public folder. So we'll move to private and then views and then slash and then dot like that. Okay, so pay attention to how this is done because otherwise it won't work. These dots here are fire extensions and this one is for concatenating. Okay, good. So if the file exists, then we just need to load it. Now to load, we're just going to say require. We we'll require that file, and that file will be um, exactly this. Copy that and paste it here. Put a semicolon and we are done. Or else, we can add another view, which is the 404 page. 
so we're just going to say require and we'll require the 404 page so that is uh, view dot i'll just change this to 404 like that cool then i will go to views right click uh, <clears throat> no file and i will let me just copy what's in the home page copy and put that in here and call this page not found okay page not found so that you can have a custom message here so i'll save this one inside views make sure you're saving as a php file so i'll save this let me just click on that to copy that and say 404.view.php okay good now that in the controller we have a function called view this one is a public function actually everything here must be you know it's public so public function like so okay pretty good now we may want to pass in some data because whatever data we processed in the controller we must send it to the view so it can be displayed so here we'll put an array and we'll call it um we we'll just call it data and we'll set it to an empty array so that in case you don't have anything to add there, you don't feel pressured to do so. So I'll just do array like so. So it will be set to an empty array. Now, however, if this is um, a valid array, we're just going to extract it. So extract like so and put that data there. So what extract does is this, if there were items in the array, let's say it was, um, let's say page name, and then we had set this to a variable, uh, my page name. So if there was an item like this in the array, it will extract it, meaning it will get this variable, uh, this item, this, this data, and put it in a variable named exactly this. That way, we don't have to use the data prefix to use the items that are inside here. We just have to call them by their name, the name that we used inside the array. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so extract data, and then we load whatever we are loading here. So now if I go to the home controller, uh, home controller should have a capital H. Where are we? Controllers, home. Right here now, instead of saying this is the home controller, I can just say view, okay? Like this, okay? Uh -huh. Now, uh, the view will display immediately. Now, there are some times you don't want it to just display. You want to... Um, wait a minute here. Uh, if I go to controller, this controller, instead of require, let's use return. Okay, let's say return. Uh, we can use file get contents like that. Okay, so file get contents return that. Now, the significance of this is that sometimes you are using Ajax or JavaScript and you don't want to just echo the information there. You want to save it or put it in something else. So it's better to just return it. So back here, we have to specify that we want to echo this out like this. So echo a view. And what view do we want to echo? That is the home view, like so. So if I come back here, I should now see home view this is students so let's go to home instead okay so call to undefined function view okay so this is understood and that's because i didn't specify that i'm trying to do this like so so i'll say this view because i'm calling a function that's part of this home
controller. Now it's not really part of this home controller, it's part of the controller that we are extending. This is why we're extending that, so that we can take advantage of this function here, which is in here. Okay, so all functions we add here will be available to every single controller that is extending that particular class. So let's try again, refresh, and you see this is home. So we have some HTML, finally, yeah? And we even have a title there at the top, so our HTML is working very well. Okay, this is awesome. Uh, let's see here for a second, uh, home view. Okay, so everything is working fine, yeah thought for a second there. Now let's try to see and mess it up and see if the 404 will kick in if we type in the wrong name. So I'm just going to mess that up a little bit and let's refresh. You see page not found. So things are working as predicted. Save that. Refresh. Okay, pretty cool. Alrighty then, this has been good. Now in the next video we'll look at how to load our CSS which is uh, Bootstrap and Font Awesome. Okay.